Welcome to the Sleuth Search Plus database tutorial for Pius XII Memorial Library. Sleuth Search Plus is the perfect place to start your research for a class research project or paper. It covers all subject areas and searches over 50 library databases at once, making it very much like a library version of Google. The big difference is that everything you find has been vetted and is from a credible source. All you need to worry about is determining if the information you find is applicable to your topic and if it's the right kind of source for your research project. Now let's find out what kinds of resources you will find when you do a search in Sleuth Search Plus. You will find articles from academic or scholarly journals. These come from journals in every discipline and are written by scholars who are experts in their field. Sleuth also has articles from popular magazines. These articles are not scholarly in nature, but they often have in-depth analysis of current issues. Articles from newspapers are also included. These articles are very useful for finding brief, factual information. You will also find books and ebooks. These sources provide broad, comprehensive coverage of a topic, including background or historical information. Sleuth includes information about the print books in the SLU libraries, as well as online access to tens of thousands of ebooks. Full text book reviews are also available. Now that you know what kinds of sources you'll find in Sleuth, let's do a search and try it out. You can access Sleuth from the SLU Libraries homepage. When searching in library databases, it's useful to separate concepts in your searches. So let's put performance enhancing drugs in the first box and sports in the second box. This search returns over 50,000 results. That's a lot of results, but definitely less than you'd get in a Google search of the same topic. Along the top of the Sleuth results page, you'll see your search history. You should expect to do a lot of different searches before finding the right sources, and this search history can help you keep track of what you've searched for, go back to previous searches, or even combine searches to narrow down your results. If you scroll down, you'll find your list of search results in the middle of the page, including academic journal articles, books, and more. To the left, you'll find options for refining and narrowing results, including by date, subject, and type of source. Along the right-hand side of the page is a box for our chat service. Our chat service is staffed every day, including weekends and overnight Sunday through Thursday. This is the fastest way to get assistance in accessing a source or refining your search. Let's turn our attention back to the results in the middle of the page. Each result has an icon telling you what kind of resource it is – book, academic journal, etc. This makes it easier to browse through your results if you're looking for a specific type of source. The title of the article or book is found across the top of each result. Just below the title, you'll find all the publication information for the source, including the author and date. You'll also find a brief summary or abstract and any assigned subject words. All of this information will help you decide if the result looks useful for your research. In the upper right-hand corner of each result, there is a folder with a plus symbol. This allows you to place a result in your Sleuth folder for easy emailing, printing, or saving of multiple results at one time. Along the bottom of each result are options for full text viewing. Some entries will only be available in HTML, some in PDF. Others will have linked full text. For some, you will need to use the Find It at SLU button to locate the content in another database or in the SLU libraries. Any result you can't access through the SLU libraries can be requested through Interlibrary Loan. Remember, never pay for an article. We can get it for you for free and deliver it to you digitally in about 48 hours. Now let's take a closer look at one of the results. In addition to the publication information, on this detailed record page you will find a full abstract or summary and subject links for finding more resources on a topic. Along the left-hand side of this page you will find links for full text access. For other resources, you may see additional options for accessing full text, including the Find It at SLU button. Along the right-hand side of the page, you will find tools you can use to add this item to your folder, print, email, or save the item, and the most important time saver, how to cite this source in MLA, APA, etc. Now that you have a basic idea of what is in Sleuth Search Plus and how to use it, you can get started on your research.
In the meantime, don't forget to use our Ask Us chat service or contact your subject librarian if you have any questions.